So we make no promise for no tears on me either. Thank you, Kentucky Chamber. This is a real honor. And I am so appreciative of what you do for Kentucky. You all might not know this, but after whiskey, horses, and fried chicken, Kentucky is a recognized world leader in stretch wrapping from Kentucky. Uh, stretch wrapping, uh, packaging, and shipping revolution that you've kind of heard a little bit about was invented in Kentucky. It changed the way products are successfully shipped all over the world. Just look up in Sam's or Costco or one of those uh, box stores at all those loads up on top, and that's what we do. Clearly, 1972 was not a great year to start a company. High unemployment, inflation at 8% on the way to 12%, interest rates climbing to 20%, natural gas prices going up, race riots all over the country. Can you imagine? Sounds familiar. But without any technical degrees, my brother Bill and I, we built go-karts and snowmobiles in the early 50s, 25 years before they were ever marketed. Should have been in that business. We were comfortable with risk, and we were crazy dreamers. Both of us in our 20s, we had $3,000 and a dream to do it our way in the field of transport packaging. I was fresh from my experience with two large organizations, the United States Air Force and Mobile Oil, and I was pretty sure the techniques I had learned would not work for us now. Our initial sales came within a couple of weeks. There was an innovative infrared shrink system that we sold, uh, one to Dow Chemical and one to Shell uh, Oil. Without any money or facility to build these large systems, believe it or not, we enticed our customers into letting us build in their plant with their maintenance people. So we were able to convince them enough of our credibility, how I don't know, that they actually even gave us the cash to go buy all the parts. So my brother and I are off in our Chevrolet with a big trailer, big box trailer on the back, designing as we drove, buying parts as we drove, we showed up back at Dow within a week, unloaded the parts, and went to work. Three weeks later, we flipped the switch, and guess what? It worked. Now our problem was we had to get some money. So I asked them, could we leave with a check for the full amount in a big company that is unheard of to take your money, maybe at home when you, when you get your your uh, air conditioner fixed, they, they will take money. But here we had to get the money. So we walked through the accounting department of Dow Chemical at Hanging Rock, by the way, that plant's still there. And, and we left that day with that money. That took the $3,000 up to a much larger number. We did that two more times. We did it with Shell Oil and another company whose name escapes me for the moment. And, and with a great local bank, we now had cash. Off we went. Fast growth then happened. A year later, we developed the stretch wrap that you see, and that's become the core of our business. We have an almost unbelievable market share of over 50% for 50 years. Think about what that must mean in terms of some customer's assessment of our value. Many people have asked, how did you do that? We argue about that all the time. I think it's innovation, Jim thinks it's production, but who's gonna have that argument? <laughs> but there are three big keys that we found. Truly compelling value, I mean truly compelling value. If your value is high enough, customers will work with you in ways that you cannot believe. It sets up the necessary relationship and of trust and loyalty that causes a company like ours to be able to take off with the power that we did. The second thing, just down the street here is the, is the Toyota organization. We learned lean from Toyota. This gave us the method for uh, doing management, engineering, and production in an incredible way that yields us incredible productivity and on-time delivery with quality. Thank you, Toyota. And I don't know if anybody in here is from Toyota, but thank you for that concept. Third and most important, as others have said, the Lantec people. I just can't say enough about the Lantec people. From the very beginning, 
We had a culture where human success in values and relationship was celebrated over commercial success. Now, if you'll think about that for a moment, in so many organizations, commercial success comes first. You've heard from other speakers tonight, and I enjoyed it very much, how important that value system is in making a company grow. But my proudest achievement, successful leadership transition to the next generation. It sounds like one of our other uh, speakers is gonna have a story on that as well. I transitioned my role as CEO to my son in 1995 when I was 55 years old, quite young, you might say. One of the reasons is he's far better CEO than me, and I became his employee. He let me do what I love the most, the freedom to continuously discover and develop solutions, meeting future customer needs, many of them before the customers even knew them. Jim is by far the best boss I have ever had. He gives me all the resources I need, and I love it. Thank you, Jim, for the support and resources to do what I do. And in conclusion, the Lancaster family, Lantec Associates, suppliers and customers, thank you for 50 years of confidence, trust, and support. Thank you.